Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten. Today, we delve into the latest advancements in AI, including AI21 Labs Jamba, OpenAI's voice engine, and Meta's smart glasses, alongside exploring the brand tech group's valuation and innovative technologies, reshaping industries from marketing to space exploration. Join us as we navigate these significant developments shaping our future. AI21 Labs has introduced Jamba, a generative AI model challenging the notion that large context windows necessitate heavy computing. Jamba, capable of understanding and generating text in English, French, Spanish, and Portuguese, stands out for its ability to handle up to 140,000 tokens, equivalent to approximately 105,000 words on a single GPU. This performance is attributed to its unique blend of transformers and state space models, a combination that reportedly offers three times the throughput on long contexts compared to similar sized transformer based models. Unlike Meta's Llama 2, which operates within a 32000 token context window, Jamba's architecture allows for more efficient data processing. Despite the abundance of AI models, Jamba's innovative underpinnings and its release under the open-source Apache 2.0 license position it as a significant contribution to both academic and practical AI applications, albeit with a caveat against immediate commercial use due to the absence of safeguards against generating biased or toxic content. Google is currently experimenting with AI overviews in its main search results for a select number of queries and users in the US, without requiring them to opt into the Google Search Generative Experience Labs feature. Initially available only to those who opted into Search Labs since May 2023, these AI-generated summaries aim to enhance searches that benefit from broader web information, such as complex questions. The experiment targets a small audience with high-quality, value-adding queries. Google is exploring different formats within this test and seeks feedback from a broader audience to gauge the utility of AI in search results. Despite these changes, advertisements will still appear around AI overviews. The impact on site traffic is uncertain, with potential effects on both organic and ad-driven visits. This testing phase marks a significant step towards integrating AI more deeply into Google Search, offering insights without full opt-in requirements. OpenAI has introduced Voice Engine, allowing users to clone voices using a 15-second sample. While not yet publicly available, the move aims for responsible deployment amid concerns of misuse. The technology, under development for about two years, powers ChatGPT's voice features and has been utilized by Spotify for dubbing podcasts in various languages. The model trained on a mix of licensed and publicly available data avoids fine-tuning on user data, ensuring ephemeral usage of audio samples. Priced at $15 per 1 million characters, it offers a cost-effective alternative to traditional voice acting, potentially impacting the industry. OpenAI requires user consent for voice cloning and prohibits using minors, deceased people, or political figures' voices. Early adopters focus on healthcare, accessibility, and education, benefiting from its capabilities. To prevent abuse, Voice Engine includes a watermarking technique for audio authentication and limits initial access to select developers, focusing on low-risk applications. OpenAI is exploring additional safeguards, including a mechanism requiring users to read randomly generated text, ensuring awareness of voice usage. Elon Musk's AI startup, XAI, introduces Grok, a chatbot with a twist. Unlike its peers, Grok displays wit and a rebellious streak, answering taboo subjects with frankness and accessing real-time data from X, a feature exclusive due to X's data restrictions. Developed over months with a tens of thousands GPU cluster, Grok1 has surpassed major competitors in capabilities, thanks to data from the web and reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. However, it's prone to inaccuracies and misinformation. 
The upcoming Grok 1.5 promises improvements and new features like summarizing threads and suggesting content. Accessible via an X account and a $168 annual Premium Plus plan, Grok offers both fun and regular modes, altering its tone from edgy to grounded. Despite its innovative approach, Grok's political responses lean towards progressive and libertarian views, sparking discussions on AI and political correctness. Elon Musk's AI startup, XAI, has launched Grok 1.5, an advanced generative AI model set to enhance X's social network chatbot. Grok 1.5 showcases significant improvements, particularly in coding and math tasks, outperforming its predecessor, Grok 1, in benchmarks such as math and human evil. While the real-world application of these enhancements remains to be seen, Grok 1.5's ability to process up to 128,000 tokens, indicating a substantial increase in context understanding, promises more coherent and extended interactions. Unlike typical generative AI models, XAI's Grok models are known for tackling controversial topics and responding with a unique, sometimes rebellious tone. The specifics of Grok 1.5's capabilities in these areas are not detailed. Grok 1.5 will be accessible to early X testers, introducing new functionalities like thread summarization and content suggestions. Following the open sourcing of Grok 1, Musk announced broader access to the Grok chatbot for X's paid subscribers. Next, we delve into Meta's innovative smart glasses. Meta is integrating AI into its Ray-Ban smart glasses, offering multimodal AI capabilities such as translation and the identification of objects, animals and monuments. Activated with a Hey Meta voice command, the smart assistant communicates through the glasses' built-in speakers. The New York Times tested these features in various scenarios, including grocery shopping, driving, museum visits, and zoo tours. While the AI successfully recognized pets and artwork, it faced challenges identifying distant zoo animals and an exotic fruit named Cherimoya. The smart glasses support translations between English, Spanish, Italian, French, and German. Although not flawless, Meta plans to enhance these AI features, which are currently available to a select group of US users through an early access waitlist. And now, pivot our discussion towards startup stories. The Brand Tech Group, an advertising startup founded by former Hava CEO David Jones, is shaking up the advertising world with a valuation of $4 billion after its latest fundraising round. Garnering support from new investors like Vimalac and Nendo Labs, alongside existing backers such as Moose Partners and Bance Group, the Brandtech Group is on a mission to revolutionize marketing services using technology. With an emphasis on AI, including machine-generated content, the startup aims to make marketing services better, faster, and cheaper. In the face of advertising giants like WPP and Publicis pouring millions into AI services, the Brandtech Group introduces Pencil, its generative AI platform. Pencil is not just another marketing tool. It's a game-changer capable of predicting ad performance and generating marketing assets like videos and images. What sets Pencil apart is its efficiency and cost-effectiveness. Ads are created 10 times faster, perform twice as well, and cost 30, 50% less. With the advertising industry at a crossroads due to the potential job threats from generative AI, the Brandtech Group is positioned as a leader in leveraging AI for the benefit of marketing. Their AI tools will also enhance their influencer businesses, enabling content creation at a fraction of the cost and time. The startup's commitment to innovation is further evidenced by its investments in tech companies like Niantic and Pinterest. Ember is a startup that initially turned heads with its heated coffee mug, launched through an Indiegogo campaign in 2015. Priced at $129, the smart mug seemed ambitious. Yet Ember has sold well over 3 million units, proving the skeptics wrong. 
Ember's founder, Clay Alexander, shares that the journey required perseverance and a strong belief in the product, despite doubts from many around him. Ember has evolved far beyond its flagship product. It's ventured into the medical sector with the Ember Cube, a temperature-controlled shipping box designed for medicines that require strict temperature management. Additionally, Ember has introduced heated baby bottles, expanding its range of innovative temperature control products. The inception of Ember stemmed from Alexander's frustration with his coffee cooling down too quickly. The path to commercializing the smart mug was fraught with challenges typical for hardware startups, including high development costs, intellectual property protection, and the complexities of international expansion. Ember's smart mug features wireless charging, customizable temperature settings, and remote control via a smartphone app, blending technology seamlessly into everyday life. The company's venture into medical solutions with the Ember Cube highlights its commitment to leveraging temperature control technology for broader applications, including saving lives by maintaining the efficacy of temperature-sensitive medications. Orbit Fab, a Colorado-based startup since 2018, is revolutionizing the space industry by developing gas stations for satellites. Their key innovation, the Rafti port, is designed for transferring propellant between an orbital tanker and customer spacecraft. This notion is not just a concept, but is now flight qualified and available in the market. Orbit Fab's vision, spearheaded by CEO and co founder Daniel Faber, a veteran in the space sector, stems from the understanding that an additional kilogram of propellant could yield up to $1 million in marginal revenue for satellite missions. This economic potential, coupled with the emerging satellite servicing industry's needs, led to the creation of Orbit Fab. Orbit Fab's business model is straightforward yet, yet impactful. Sell fuel and the fueling ports, with the major revenue expected from fuel sales. Their service, which includes delivering hydrazine in geostationary orbit, is tagged at $20 million for up to 100 kilograms. The Rafti port, apart from facilitating in-space refueling, also serves as a ground fueling interface before launch. This dual functionality, combined with strict compliance with standards from NASA, the Space Force, and the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, ensures reliability and safety in the harsh space environment. The initiative has not only garnered attention for its potential to extend satellite lifespans, but also for its contribution to making satellites reusable. With plans to sell 100 fueling ports within the year and upcoming contracts for fuel delivery in geostationary orbit by 2025, OrbitFab is setting a new standard in the space industry. Iron Sheepdog, based in Williamsburg, Virginia, is revolutionizing the short-haul trucking industry with its user-friendly software, aiming to streamline the process of outsourcing short-haul jobs to truckers through brokers. This innovative platform allows companies to easily track their contracted trucks, offering transparency on the location, duration, and payment for jobs. For truckers, the simplicity of the app is a game-changer, enabling them to accept jobs and manage payments online effortlessly. Iron Sheepdog distinguishes itself by focusing on the adoption of its technology by the truck drivers first, rather than the contractors, ensuring ease of use and immediate benefits such as 24-hour payment. This bottom-up approach has resulted in a growing network of over 4,000 short-haul truckers and notable year-on-year -year growth since its inception. Iron Sheepdog's solution is not just about making the short-haul trucking industry more efficient. It also holds the potential to reduce the number of trucks needed for jobs through better utilization, thereby cutting emissions and contributing to environmental sustainability. While other startups and technologies have focused on different segments of the trucking and construction industries, Iron Sheepdog stands out by tackling a previously overlooked aspect with a platform that emphasizes ease of adoption and practical utility. Next, we delve into Stripe's strategic growth initiatives. Stripe a powerhouse in the payments sector, is making waves with its revenue and finance automation. RFA unit. 
In a strategic move to bolster this unit, Stripe has acquihired the team behind Superglue, a developer platform focused on user-facing integrations. Superglue, birthed by George Shing and Thomas Chen, emerged from the duo's experience at Lyft and Uber, where they identified a critical gap in managing and centralizing data across different platforms. Their solution enables companies to seamlessly import customer data from various sources into their applications, addressing fragmented and inconsistent data management practices that could negatively impact business decisions. The Acquihire by Stripe, a company whose total payment volume has surpassed $1 trillion, signifies a strategic alignment with Superglue's mission to enhance data integration and analytics. This move is expected to accelerate the development of Stripe's RFA suite, particularly in real-time analytics and reporting, offering a unified data platform that promises to deliver valuable insights through dashboards, alerts, and customer reporting. Superglue's expertise in integrating diverse data sources and providing coherent analytics aligns perfectly with Stripe's objectives, making this collaboration a pivotal moment for both entities. As Stripe continues to expand its partnerships and explore new ventures, the addition of Superglue's talent and technology positions the company to further solidify its standing in the financial automation space, promising enhanced efficiency and insight for its users. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlight Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious, stay enlightened.